live at Liberty Station, where the urban search and rescue team is preparing just in case they get the call to deploy. Marie? Well, Goshal, most of the work is being done inside of this warehouse right here. You can see the red boxes lined up. Some of them have TVs in them, some of them have computers, and others have medical equipment already just in case they get that call. Pallets of boxes moved around and supplies organized just in case the urban search and rescue team gets the call to head to Oklahoma to help with recovery efforts. This 80 member team, made up of firefighters, medical staff, and equipment technicians, are constantly preparing for a deployment like this, where they provide backup for the local agencies. Tenu spoke with Jesus Arce, who, if called, this would be his first mission. He says he's already trying to prepare for the heart wrenching images he may see there. I just look at it as a job, but probably when I do get there, um, you know, I would imagine my little boy in that school or my house being destroyed as well. So it's, it's heartfelt. Is also on standby is the Salvation Army. As soon as they get their phone call, they'll head to the other parts of Oklahoma that were hit by that tornado. Uh, we'll have much more for you coming up in our later newscast. We're live from Liberty Station, Marie Cornell, 10 News.